For hormonal coordination, there are a few things that you need to know. First of all, you need to know the name of the glands. Eh? For example, uh, pituitary glands, thyroid glands, thymus, adrenal glands, pancreas, ovary, testis, ovary for girl and uh, woman, and a testis for a boy and man. Eh? Okay, so these are the glands. You need to know where it is because in the exam, they, they may give you a pictures and then they ask you to label the glands and so you need to know the name of the glands and where it is and second you need to know the hormones that it secretes what's the hormone secretes by the thyroid glands and uh, what's the functions of the hormones and what happens if uh, there's no not enough hormones huh? so you need to know that so that's for hormonal coordinations what are hormones hormones is the chemicals that secrete by endocrine glands, chemicals produced and secreted by endocrine glands. And hormones are specific. So each hormone only for a particular organ. The particular organ is called the target organs for a specific functions. For example, uh, the hormones that secrete by the pancreas, the insulin. The insulin has a functions to control the blood sugar level in our body. It can only do that. It cannot do other things. It can only control the sugar levels in the blood. So we say it's very specific. And then uh, we only need small amount of hormones uh, for to be effective. Just very little uh, that it can give effects to the body. Unlike the impulse that is transmitted through neurons, the hormone is transmitted through the bloodstream, through your blood. Okay. So there's something that you need to know about the hormones. Uh, first is the chemicals that produce and secreted by endocrine glands and it's specific. Okay, one hormone, one use. Okay, and then uh, this small amount will be sufficient and is transmitted through bloodstream. Okay, so that's what you need to know. Okay, the last thing that you need to know about this hormonal uh, coordination is the effects of hormonal imbalance. It's quite a lot for you to remember, okay? So this table summarizes it. Uh, this is the endocrine glands, pituitary, thyroid, pancreas. We have a few more in the next slide. And these are the hormones that are secreted by these glands. And as, as I told you, you need to remember the name of the glands and the types of hormones that it produces. And you also need to know the effects of excessive, too much, or the effects of deficiency, too little hormones in our body. For example, for pituitary glands, if we have too much growth hormones, and then it will cause gigantism, which the human's body will become very big. Because these growth hormones also controls the water reabsorption. So too much water will be reabsorbed by the kidney. And if we have this uh, deficiencies of uh, growth hormones then it will cause a uh, dwarfism where the body become very small and uh, not enough water reabsorbed by kidney okay examples okay this is examples of dwarfism eh? okay this is an adult but the body is very small eh? so dwarfism for thyroid okay thyroid uh, produces uh, thyroxines and if we have too much thyroxines, then it will cause restless and high metabolic rate. Your body is full of energies and it's very active. Okay, Even though you, you're already very tired, but it's still very active. It's restless. And uh, deficiencies of uh, thyroxines will cause goiter and uh, low metabolic rate. Um, examples, goiter. Huh? This is examples of goiters uh, where the neck uh, swell. Okay, pancreas, it uh, secretes insulin. This is to control the blood sugar. Excessive will cause low blood sugars and it may lead to coma, means the person will faint and dead. Okay, if the uh, sugar levels in the body is too low. But if the sugar levels in our body is too high, then it's diabetes. Eh? Okay, if we don't have enough insulin, then it will cause diabetes. Eh? Okay. For adrenal, adrenaline, it uh, secretes adrenaline 
And if we have deficiency, then we have weak muscle, low resistance to pressure, and uh, testes secretes testosterone and too much will be aggressive like the man will be very aggressive uh, in case of deficiency then it is immature sperm okay and for ovary we have oestrogens and progesterone and uh, too much will cause a premenstrual syndrome and not enough deficiency will cause the menstrual cycles interrupted Okay, so uh, make sure that you remember the name of the endocrine systems, uh, the name of the, the hormones secreted, and if possible, okay, if, if it's possible, try to remember the effects of excessive or deficiencies of these hormones. Eh? Okay, it's a lot. If you really have no time, then uh, I would suggest you to leave this part, okay? But if you have enough time, uh, try to remember it because this may come out in exam.